Dear friends, our reflection today is about the meaning and understanding of the homily. And we are going to see a kind of a journey from the sermon to the homily, especially in terms of terminologies. Many times people look at both of them, sermon and the homily, as almost synonymous. But there is some difference, some, some difference that we are yet to see. The Roman Catholics generally use homily to name the renewed form of preaching initiated by the liturgical reform of the Second Vatican Council. Prior to that, the Catholic Church preferred the word sermon, as Protestants still do. Now, let's get to the, to the term homily. Homily is rooted in the Greek homilia, from homilein, which means to have communion with a person, not with an idea, but with a person. And so homiletikos means conversation, while sermon comes from the Latin word sermo, which means a speech or informal discourse, exposition of a doctrine. So we see that homily has to do with a conversation with a person. And here the person we are talking about is the second person of God, the Trinity, Jesus Christ himself. So a conversation with a, a person who is alive and active in the lives of every Christian. So a good homily Therefore, feels like a conversation. It's like a, a breaking open of God's word to open God's word and how we apply it in concrete situations of our lives. That uh, a good homily should be a homily that takes root from God's word and the homilist should be able to break that word so that it is easily digestible into the lives of the persons that listen to it. Therefore, in this way, we would say that I listen to the priest or a deacon who is preaching and I continue the conversation in my mind, a conversation in my heart to see how I can concretely or practically respond to what God's word is calling me to do so that it makes active and is alive in me and makes alive the circumstances of my life so that God's word can bear more fruit in the lives of others because it has first of all found a place in my own life. And so that is what it means with a homily. That's a conversation in my mind, in my heart, and how that conversation of God speaking to me and I trying to respond and to dialogue, dialogue between two persons, I and God, how it finally finds a place in my heart and in my life and in the every circumstance of my life, good or bad. Now. We see kind of this definition now of the homily seen between homily and sermon. For example, we already said that a sermon is like a speech. A speech delivered by a Christian assembly, Christian assembly by an authorized person that applies to some kind of doctrine. So it's a speech delivered in a Christian assembly by an authorized, authorized person and with some, of, uh, some kind of uh, doctrine. Whereas the homily now, in this case, dear friends, is preached at the Eucharistic assembly. Remember this, that while the sermon is in a Christian assembly, any kind of gathering, it can be at home, it can be a working place. Here we are talking about a Eucharistic assembly, meaning an assembly that has gathered to celebrate the Eucharist. That's when the homily is used. And it is given by the bishop. The homily is given by the bishop or a presbyter or a deacon, meaning a priest or a deacon, and it also applies to a particular point of doctrine. So, in brief, ceremony is within a Christian assembly by an authorized person. The person has to be authorized, maybe by a parish priest. Homily is within the Eucharistic assembly with a bishop or a deacon or a priest, and it applies to both a, a kind of doctrine. A sermon is usually drawn from a biblical passage. This is another distinction. It's drawn, the sermon is drawn from a biblical passage. It could be from the Exodus. It could be from the Old Testament or the New Testament. So it's usually drawn from the biblical passage and a biblical passage to the lives of the members of the congregation with the purpose of moving them to, use, to the use of narrative analogy and another rhetoric, linguistic, verbal devices. That is, to accept the application of that biblical passage and to act on the basis of that biblical passage. So that has uh, the scope that it, the sermon is from the biblical passage and it 
a homilist uses all means possible so that that biblical passage applies and is accepted and people act on it in their lives from the biblical passage. That is a sermon. Whereas the homily is drawn from the day's gospel or the day's word of God of that day, which is separate in the whole world, which the mother church put before us. And that drawn from that day's gospel or the day's word of God, it is applied to the lives of the members of the congregation with the purpose of moving their hearts so that they can be able to accept and act on the what the God, gospel, meaning Jesus Christ, the good news, is speaking to us. And as they you know, accept this word of God and act on it, it is also to help them, the homily is also to help them participate better in the Eucharist, in the liturgy, which is the Eucharist itself, the sacrament of sacraments, the way we celebrate the Lord Jesus himself uh, as he revealed through the Paschal mystery. And as they, they are enabled to participate in the Eucharist, in the liturgy, the homily also has the scope of helping them how to go forth and meet the world. Most of these reflections, dear friends, are taken from uh, the reference of uh, uh, O.C. Edwards, especially which talks about the elements of homiletic, a method for preaching to preach by Puebla Books of 1990. Now, in understanding a Sunday homily, Generally, a homily is a scripturally based reflection and it provides food for thought and for the soul about the joys and challenges of living as a God's people in today's society or world. So the, 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 the homily has to look at how we God's people live today in the society, but it derives every content of it from the scripture, the sacred word of God. And through the Sunday homily, therefore, for example, at the Eucharist, uh, 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 the members of the community of faith who are gathered at the Eucharistic celebration learn slowly by slowly how to accept, how to welcome, or how to apply God's word, which is as central to the daily living life, uh, the daily individual lives, and to the lives of others. That's why we see that the Second Vatican Council suggests that it is Christ, meaning God Himself, not the minister. Who speaks to his disciples and to his own people through the sacred scriptures and through the Sunday homily? Within this optic, therefore, God's people are able to evaluate themselves, to look at the positive aspects of their lives and also the negative aspects of their lives, which areas to improve in their lives, thanks to the sacred scriptures, which have been proclaimed, not read, just reading like you're reading a newspaper, but proclaimed like you are singing it, giving accents as well. And so, thanks to the scriptures and thanks to the mediation of the, hom the homily itself, so God's people are able to evaluate themselves. They look at themselves in the mirror and see the best things they can do in order to put their Christian life into action. Dear friends, bearing in mind the context of the assembly, mixed context, as in some parishes or in mixed context here, we refer to the old, the small, the big, the every type of people inside the assembly, like on a Sunday. So we have to bear in mind also the context. Bear in mind the kid, for example, the, that context is only meant of kids, or it's with only adults in salon, aged, or the so a context is of sick people, or prisoners, or immigrants, or religious, or university students, any kind of context. I have to know my context. The Sunday homily should deepen and address the concrete daily realities of each one of these ordinary simple groups of people by teaching and treating their thoughts, dreams and aspirations, their feelings, emotions, joys, fears and anxieties and challenges and help them, the homily should help them to live as Christians today and above all, their basic need for God and appreciation of each other. So the homily therefore Deriving its content, as we've seen, basically from the sacred scriptures and from liturgy, because liturgy is all about the mystery of Christ as it is revealed and celebrated. And also deriving from the church tradition of the magisterium as a mother church which takes care of the, her children, should relate to the worshipping community. The homily should relate to the worshipping community and their experience of life in the real world today. So the intention of the homily is to motivate the members of the community of faith gathered on the Sunday Eucharist to think 
through what sacred scripture and the church teaching imply for the daily lives and how they might enact a moral or human spiritual behavior or conduct that is consonant with the word of God. Therefore, in this sense, therefore, the homily indicates how sacred scripture and church magisterium point the way to the holiness of life and how God's word is reflected and lived in the actual practice of everyday life. The homily is a message on how God's people can witness how they can live and how can share the good news of salvation, the good news of liberation, the good news of how God loves us and how we should love each other in and a society where we find ourselves in our homes, in our neighborhoods, at school, at our places of work, during recreation activities, in the hospital, and everywhere.